We needed somebody who has a thorough understanding of this institution. That's why people in charge before me went for the DG of Justice because he has been dealing with this. Now, you can't bring a new person who knows nothing about it. It's a complicated thing. So you take the very person who understands who understands this institution. It's nothing wrong. No, Nobody the, protested in the past. You take the very person who thinks there's <laughs> nothing wrong with the executive interfering with the NPA. makes it easy for the government, doesn't no, it? No, 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 no. That's not the case. Because nobody has looked at the case itself. Why did he say so? What were the merits of that? Were the, were the merits as he was looking at them? Wrong. Nobody has done so. South Africans, by nature, are very good people, but they are very violent. Here, if somebody commits a crime, which is committed throughout the world, they are very violent about it. And that's the, the thing we need to talk about. I have raised the issue. In fact, I must also give credit to the opposition parties. When I met them, we discussed this issue that there is something wrong in our society. As political leadership, we need to deal with the matter. I've raised the issue with the religious leaders. There is something wrong in the manner in which we do things. A criminal in South Africa will enter the house, break in, <clears throat> and, and wait there for the owner to come. And once the owner comes, bring your key, where is your gun, where is your money? In other countries, a thief will enter, not to be seen, steal and run away. That tells you the nature of our society, which is a call to all of us as leaders to help sway our society. Let us stop violence on the TV. Let us stop all of that so that we can have a society. Try to put programs that help to redefine our values, who we are, etc. That will go a long way. A societal education. Uh, the youth saw in him a leader and they, and, and they, they did uh, elect him as a leader. And we are talking to Malema. What we did not do is to address these issues in public. We have been. And, and when he says, look, I need to learn, because he knows we engage with him, with his collective, and we have done so all the time. And, and there is nothing strange in so far as the ANC youth leaguers speaking in the manner in which they do. People don't know what our icon Matiba used to say when he was in the youth. Mm -hmm. They would say, no, this was not Matiba talking. Because that's how the youth does. But it is true, whatever we say, even at the level of the youth, we must not say things that provoke people. <laughs> nobody, nobody asked me to boycott the word God. Nobody. Uh, nobody did so. I was ch scheduled to go there to address, as we always do, in these conferences and I went as it was. It were your colleagues really, the fellows who love writing a lot and uh, who began to say Zuma is boycotting, I don't know, for what? I had my time to talk to the to the party and I address all of us, not just the, 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 SAP, the SACP, everybody, to say we should behave properly. <laughs> that to remain a secret. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Ten, that's the president of the <laughs>